on the uh, on the YouTube chat, they were talking about it being a one way ratchet. All right. And and I don't I'm just I'm just gonna spitball some numbers out here because this is, you know, just some of the some of the some of the stuff that's out there, right? Uh, so we've got what three hundred and twenty million people in the country, somewhere in that that effect. Uh, they say that there's one gun. I think the last thing I saw was there was one gun in every for every eleven people or some some crazy statistic like that. So let's think about this for a second. There was only 120 million people that voted for the president. The entire presidential election, 120 million people total. So if there is 320 million people in the country and we can mobilize 70 million people. Now, if there's that many fucking guns and that many fucking gun owners that we could mobilize I could fucking disassemble your ratchet. Give me 70 million people and I could fucking turn back the goddamn clock. We're running off the fucking Magna Carta because I can out. I'm out voting everybody that's voting for the presidency. You give me 120 million people that are willing to fucking get off their ass for 10 minutes and fucking click a button and we can receive, we could drain the fucking swamp. We could fire fucking everybody. I'm talking governor, sheriffs, Fucking everybody. I could run this bitch with 120 million voters. So you talk about it being a one-way ratchet. That's a fucking quitter attitude. That's just, they're always just going to keep taking. No, motherfuckers, they're going to keep taking as long as you fucking take it. Get your ass out and fucking vote. And do the fucking things that's going. So, and that's, that's that's what irritates the shit out of me is everybody just fucking takes it. And they, they don't even get off their ass. And then they're just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna fight the man when he comes around. Motherfucker, when we drop the 82nd in your ass, you're going to be the first one with your fucking hands up and fucking going to the fucking, going to Obama's FEMA camps or whatever the fuck's going to happen at there's, Jason. There's so much to do before that, though. Why are yeah. people waiting till the last minute? Why aren't they acting now? And and, and, that's, and that's, that's the shit that we need to, you know, and... And I'm going a little bit, little bit preaching, a little bit ranty, but you know, and maybe, maybe we can fucking. I'm not in the army now. This is my first official day out of the army. That's right. So, Congratulations. Yeah. So I'm sure Mr. Knight would like me to be fucking helping to fucking keep guns on the street. So, you know, so we can keep selling guns because that'd be fucking cool to have a paycheck. Uh, so, and that's the shit that we need to do. We need to get people out and. Like I said at the beginning of the podcast, I fucking don't care about how many lumens the new Surefire fucking light has. Nobody fucking cares. If if you don't have a gun to put your Surefire shit on, then the fucking lumens won't fucking help you. So, and, you know, there's guys like, I vote, I vote, I vote. Yeah, I got it. I got it, man. Get your fucking friends. And vote in time when it comes to presidential election. My Facebook goes down. Because I'm sitting there and going, if you didn't fucking vote and you don't have a good excuse, I don't care who you voted for. Because first off, I just need people to vote. We have fucking 300 million or fucking 275 million eligible franchise voters in the country. Get fucking off your ass and vote. I don't care who you vote for. I don't, you could have put Hillary in or whatever. But I guarantee people listen when there's 270 million people fucking voting. When you know when it, when the presidential election is decided by fucking two thousand votes, and it's hundred and twenty million people total, come on, man. Dude, we've got to do better across the board, and that, and that's that's duty. And people say, well, it's it's a duty. It's not a duty, whatever. It's a civic duty, and just do it because they're not going to fucking listen until you start taking fucking jobs away. And that's what we got to do first. We got to you know. Think about, and this is, a, this is a fucking pipe dream, but think about if everybody that came to SHOT Show to see all the fucking Lumens, the 65,000 people, what if we put them at the Lincoln fucking Memorial in fucking Washington, D.C.? You think somebody would hear our voice then? Bet your ass they would. And But, you know, maybe, maybe next year we do SHOT Show in fucking Washington, D.C., you know, and then we go, hey, by the way, while you're here, we're gonna we're gonna do some do some spiel and we're gonna put that shit Cry on. Party. Right. Yeah. 
cry, cry party in DC and we and we fill the whole thing with you know with with actual hey we're not going to stand for this shit. But we also have to come up with solutions because there's a lot of people that don't like. I mean, I'm sure there's Californians out there that don't like Diane Feinstein. There, there's not enough of them, but I'm sure they're out there that don't like Feinstein. But Feinstein has been reelected like fucking 120 times. I mean, she she's oh, been in she Congress since like Woodrow Wilson or something. I thought she was just recently out. She didn't make it. I don't know. She's uh, still up there. That's yeah. Um, I think Egg Roll mentioned that that she was gone or she was on her last shit, but that the one that uh, beat like her that. was even more radical. Yeah. yeah of course. All right. Got, got, got to swap out for somebody that can actually do something. But, you know, and, and that's if we get people voted and mo mobilized, then that name recognition wouldn't mean that much stuff because we actually have people doing it. And we actually use the system that we have because like I said earlier, not only is there more amendments than the second, but there's also a whole constitution that goes with it that gives us, gives us power as the people that we're supposed to be, that we're supposed to be doing, but we don't do it. We sit here in apathy and we, piss wine and moan when when something bad happens and then then but people want to talk about going to guns and it's yeah, it's, yeah if it does go to guns it, I'm, I'm i'm telling you right now if it goes to guns i will be right there i'll be i'll be out there when you know when chuck goes running out the driveway i'll be out there going nope not time yet and i i got got no problem with it that's why i'm buying night's guns because they run about 20k about 20, <laughs> 20, 20 000 rounds i got i got time right Give, give me a T1 and a night's gun, and I'm, I'm, it's going to outlast me. It's going to be like an heirloom. 